This is a Cloud of Jedi here for another Star Wars action figure review. Today we'll be reviewing a Star Wars Legacy Collection ATST exclusive to Walmart from back in 2009. Okay. Now I have it side by side with a what I believe to be a Power of the Force ATST from back in 1995 and um, even outside of the packaging, you can tell pretty much automatically that um, the one, the original one, well, I don't know if it's the original one, but the one for the Power of the Force line is definitely a shorter in height. Okay. Um, you can tell right away that the legs are definitely skinnier. Okay. And that the newest, well, this legacy collection one from 2009 is definitely much taller okay let's take a look at the box first of the legacy collection line okay we've got okay includes ATST driver missile firing launcher okay I'm gonna kind of get a flashlight yeah hold the flashlight okay so you got a flashlight here just to kind of get a view of what the ATST driver looks like inside the packaging. Okay. It comes with two sets of guns. Oh, come on. Okay, you see it? Okay. Come on. Now, I believe that the one that down there is one that has missiles that actually shoots out. Cool. Okay, yeah, that's very cool. And this one is just supposed to be sort of more movie accurate. And it pivots up and down. Okay. Um, I think we're done. Well, in terms of the background, this one has a sort of leafy foliage pattern with trees in the back. If you can see, um, hopefully. I am definitely am planning on keeping that to display it in the background. I've got an indoor uh, bunker, which I'm going to add to it create a little diorama to it okay okay so now once again this is the uh, Star Wars Legacy Collection Walmart ATST okay all-terrain scout transport available only at Walmart with ATST driver missile firing launcher let's take a look at the side packaging okay yeah. and and let's take a look at the back and the different features. All-terrain scout transport walker strides across the ground searching for rebel troopers. The armored vehicle blaster cannons and concussion launcher gives this walker plenty of firepower while the height and mobility provide significant advantages during attacks. One, roof opens for easy access inside um, looking at the picture here it's cool because it has two seats inside as opposed to the one that the previous model had from the power of the force line definitely cool um, we got a flip down viewport shields okay so these on the other one power of the force line are just stickers okay you've got two sets of guns on either side exactly and I just wanted to show you on this one it's just stickers here okay. got the hatch and only one ATST driver is inside okay. uh, we're going to show off the chicken the walker ah very cool okay let's get back to the ATST yeah stand them up Okay, we got two figures fit in the vehicle, which is neat. Okay, includes one figure, other figures sold separately. Three interchangeable firing missile cannons, which I said before. Okay, you can interchange the guns. Articulated legs. Okay, it doesn't say anything about it having that sort of feature that the power of the force line, which, you know, I'd be curious to see if it has it or not. It doesn't seem to have it in this. Articulated legs. Okay, at least it's not mentioned on the packaging. Certainly hope they didn't do away with it. Includes vehicle, weapons, figure, missiles, and instructions. 
over here you got some of the other vehicles in this line like the Vulture Droid, Anakin News Jedi Starfighter and Clone Turbo Tank and this came out back in 2009 take a look at the side okay and one last look at the front and there we go thank you for watching this was a closet Jedi the uh, next part of the video will be with this one outside of its packaging and comparing it to the power of the force line and the movie. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.